Hello, welcome to How to Draw Celtic Knots. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber, and in this segment, we are going to draw the spine of that uh, Triskel or Trillium variant of knotwork found on the two arms of the crescent V rod on one of the three stones in near the Aberlemno church, an ancient uh, 8th century or 7th century um, Pictish holy site. Um, the stone that this one comes from is a cross slab on one side, and then the other side has a lot of the Pictish, ancient Pictish designs like the crescent V and the Z rods. So, to start drawing that little Triskel, um, you're going to need a hard pencil. I prefer to always use Stettler products. Um, I've got some pigment liners, so I've got a 0.5, a 0.8, and a 0.3. You're also going to need a, an eraser and a ruler. Begin by drawing a triangle that's about a 3 by 2 proportion. What you're going to do is you're going to draw a line and then from this line what I want you to do is roughly draw something that's about three inches tall next on this line mark two inches and then draw the outside of this and here Basically, this is three by two. All right. Next, what I want you to do is find your halfway mark on your tall sides of your isosceles triangle here. So three point two, so it's roughly about. And make sure you're having fun, of course, because. We're just doing this freehand. You can do this very, very, very slowly if you wish. And um, what we're trying to do is determine the center of the triangle, just to start marking the grid a bit. And this is basically how the ancient Pictish artists would make this Celtic knot design, is by scoring it lightly with chalk and then marking the interlace and then cutting away the background to uh, show the design. All right, another thing we might want to do, a 2 inch pencil is good because it's nice and hard and will be good to erase. So lightly score a line here and here for reference. Um, all right, so mark one, two, three. These are basically equidistant, just do it by eye. I'll make it nice and pleasant. Same distance here, mark one, two. So you basically got one, two, three, four, five, six. Over here, mark there and there. All right, now we're going to begin drawing the spine of it. What you should do is draw a nice curve here. And here, okay. Next from this halfway mark, we're going to draw a slightly fatter one, like that and that. Okay, good. Next, this line here. Mark all the way to this point. And this one to this point. From here, imagine this line goes here, and this line goes here. I might make it go slightly outwards. Okay. Next, this one here is going to slope up just above this part. Up to there. Trying to make 
make it a mirror image. Up to there. Okay. Here's where it kind of gets tricky. This one rounds out to here. And then stop it just short of your center mark. This one's going to do the same thing. Stops right there. Now, this intersects here and then goes through half, halfway. You want to try and keep all your spine equidistant. It might start to get a little bit more compact down here at the bottom. But with practice, you'll be able to get it so it looks really nice. And the, the more even you're able to draw, the more hypnotic it's going to look to the uh, to the viewer. All right, so that's the end of this segment. We're going to draw the outline of it with your 2H pencil in the next segment.